Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Eternal Sunday of October here at Great Ogre Games. I'm Alfian Poon, joined by Ben. Hi. Yes. Well, it, what's good, are you? Ben? Are you? Am I a time traveler? Because it's it's November right now. It's November. Ah, sorry, I saw the 10th, I thought it was October. <laughs> ah, uh, you're wrong, American. The wrong number, the wrong number. You're American. Oh, no, I'm American. You read it the other way around. <laughs> sorry, it's, it's all Sunday yeah. of November. Okay, 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 yes, okay, yes, okay. Yes. okay. And we have Tan Yuan and Pua Yong Chai, and uh, the name should be switched around because... Uh, oh, yes, okay. That's okay. definitely Yuan on the left. Oh. Ah, yes, okay. Perfect. Yeah, Yuan, I, I remember he was playing uh, the Black Green Turbo yep. Gaps last time, yep. but now it seems he's a bit on uh, Team Red. Oh, yeah? Let's just see his hand. Oh okay okay shirt. yeah he's definitely got a shirt I mean that's that's a red team yeah used yeah, to be a good team, team but oh, oh yeah, yeah. Ooh. I, I miss I miss those times yeah 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 I, oh, back in my childhood I was a supporter of that. oh yeah? Yeah, yeah 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 it's it's funny I think the the whole phenomenon yeah yeah of course of course yeah uh, I know Yong Chai is playing some it's kind of rock over concoction we, and we, uh, we call it Canadian threshold now Canadian threshold oh, okay it's okay it's not like cooler name okay okay yeah, okay yeah, yeah. okay. And, oh, oh no, but no, 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 no! It's not red. It's it's it's, it's the it's the I think same as back, last time. He's back. He's back to his bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's back on his bullshit. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So really cool uh, option that Yong Chai has is to play uh, wooded foothills in a in a <laughs> in a purely uh, you know like a largely blue deck because right, right, right. it can kind of disguise what he's playing, right? Mm -hmm. And see, he's benefiting from that here. His opponent's like, oh, wooded foothills is face safe to crack my fetch, and then he's gonna be able to get get stifled. Right, right, of course. Um, and yeah, Yuan regretting his decisions. He's like, I've been had. This is the last thing I expected from a Wooded Foothill start. <laughs> and Stifle, wow. Yeah. That was, that's, such a, that's such an amazing bluff. I never thought of that. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting, right? Because you, 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 know, you, you don't have to play, you don't have to find Basic Island anyway. So you just play any land that, that lets you get the lands that you right, have in your deck. Right. Like yeah. this, this kind of threshold deck, uh, it doesn't really want to search the basic lands because yep. it needs the du dual lands for the, the amazing fixing that it has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you see, he's, he doesn't have a second land, so he's looking for a second land off of a ponder. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Yeah, he's like, do I play a ponder or do I play? Uh, uh, or do I play? Uh, what does he have? It's a water yeah, it looks like a growth. Oh, okay, wow, okay, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. What, so do you, what do you think about that? About that uh, land choice? Yeah, I think it's a good choice. Before it was Fiery Islet, when they were playing, um, when they were playing, uh, when they were playing more Dreadhawk Arcanist, mm -hmm. but I think now with the switch to Oko, uh, and Four Goyfs ah, being right, good of again, the Warlock yeah, growth is better. The Warlock growth is better. Right, right. Yeah, so it's, this is Ren and Six letting him, you know, take back, uh, take back the fetch land that we saw. Yes. Uh, so I'm crack on turn one. Very strong card advantage engine, just for two mana, of course. Yep. Place yep, Walker. Yep, yep. For sure, and uh, I think it's what's really interesting now is um, if any wastelands come off the top or get found by that ponder, you know, it's going to put Yuan in a bit of a spot, right? Yeah. But yeah. Yuan does have a very aggressive and very quick deck. Oh, Ooh. okay, okay, okay. He's got uh, Once Upon a Time. Draws the Once Upon a Time off yeah. the top. Wow, that's, that's very timely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very uh, timely. Once Upon a Timely. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. okay, hang on. I'm okay, gonna okay, okay. And uh, yeah, he sees a bunch of good cards. Sees some lands. Sees... Uh, Sees a wasteland. Uh, not sure if he wants to take the wasteland, but uh, let's see. Despian stage. Uh, I think there's a burn catacombs, and uh, no, sorry. Despian stage. Bayou and dark. It takes dark confidant. Okay, okay. Dark confidant. I think really good here, especially against the trash. The Canadian threshold deck wants to try and grind out the game. But here we go. Uh, abrupt decay going on to the red and six can't be countered as well. So no, no response from Yong Tai. Yeah. Was this decay? Oh, uh, yeah, he decayed the okay, okay. The, the red and six. Yeah, and but even then, it feels bad to have it to have the decay in that spot, right? Like yeah, it's it's like he he got a card back from his uh from his ren. It's a two for one. Yeah, it's, it's a two for of, one. It's kind of a two for one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, like a one for zero, effectively, right? Right, right, right. But yeah. well, you trade it for mana, but the same amount of mana. But I yeah. think in this, in this, in this matchup in particular, especially in the Canadian threshold deck, mana is very important yep. as well. Just yeah, as important yeah. as the spells, I think. I think Yong Chai is thinking about whether or not he wants to tap out for a threat this turn, or does he want to leave spells, spell snare up? Okay, I think spell snare is really good against yeah. a lot against this deck in particular. Especially when if Yong Chai has oh, seen okay. uh, Yuan uh, take the dark confidant off the. What's more time, which he did. Oh, he did. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Which I missed because I was answering a judge call. Right, right. Yeah. So this is interesting, right? Because he's cracking this fetch. You think he might, he might be, con be considering playing a mandrills here? 
Mandrills. Uh, hooting Mandrills. Oh, hooting Mandrills. Yeah, yeah, ah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Hoot, hoot. Mm, uh, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's... That's that. Let me tap out though. He doesn't have enough to that's true. lift one up. The maybe monkey is gonna get funky. Maybe just a maybe goyf is better. Yeah. Do they still play mongoose? I don't think they play geese if they play mandrills. Okay. Oh, oh, that's yeah. oh yes, in his head. That would be okay, a bad okay. idea. Uh, so yeah, goyf. Okay. the goyf instead. Uh, goyf is gonna be land sorcery instant. Oh, there's a goyf dice, but and we can't. Uh, we can't actually see it. So it's four five. Four five. Okay. Okay. Yeah, four five. Uh, decent, uh, decent chonker. Pretty sizable, pretty yeah, sizable. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, Yuan has like two wastelands in his hand. Uh, sorry, is that re- is that waste? Are those two wastelands? Yeah, two, two wastelands. wastelands in his hand. Yeah, but he doesn't have a dark depths because if not, he could have gone with the um, he could have gone with the the hex mage, right? Right. So Goy first. Uh, so sorry, Bob first. Yes. And oh, interesting. Trying yeah. to establish the the card advantage or at least keep up. In cut resources as yeah. uh yeah, yeah. But he, he has this ability to just burst out of nowhere, right? Like he can crop rotation yeah. the wasteland away and then play a hex mage and then it's just a twenty twenty all of a sudden. That's right. That's right. But he doesn't because obviously he you know the it, blue mages have blue spells, surprise. Yeah, you're playing against Canadian Threshold, of course, a lot of soft permission spells yep, like yep, spell yep. snare, all the yeah, so it's gonna flip base. to go oh, crop, oh crop rotation. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah. That's not bad, but it's a card that you rather not show your opponent, right? It's right. the kind of card that, that it <laughs> you rather sure have in your head. Yeah, like yeah, especially against a deck that has wastelands. Right. Wait, yeah. draws another hex mage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, hex mage is interesting here. Uh, okay, I think he's gonna play a bit slow here. Yeah. True to the name of the deck, slow depths. Or is he gonna just? Can he afford to be slow though? That's my question. Mm. You know what I mean? Right, like, right, right. Like he doesn't have a lot of options against those goyfs. Okay, okay. So yeah. Oh, he's gonna okay. He's gonna, gonna pass slowly. Do it. Slowly yeah, do yeah, it. yeah, yeah. But it's a question of whether or not he needed. If he if he didn't wasn't gonna use that that Ooh. wasteland, should he have played something else instead? Mm, true. Yeah, true. you know, like maybe the Thespian stage that's in his hand. Yes, I think I'll prefer yeah. that because wasteland is a bit. He can go for instant instant kill right now, right? Right, with, right, right. Without having to use uh, without having to use a um. Without having to use a uh, two mana spell, right? Because he knows uh, he doesn't know about the spells, and we know about the spells, now. right? But that could be a more effective way to play around things, mm. yeah. And so wasteland a lot better when you use it immediately, right? Yeah, well, I one of the arguments would have been to take your opponent off the green mana, right? Right. You could have double wasted the green sources, right? Or you could double wasted the the red sources, given that the one the waterlock waterlock growth was one of the sources untapped, so you didn't want to waste that because you can draw a card, right? So you can lock him off red. Okay. Right by by wasting twice. That's true. That's true. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. But here you have. Okay, so he's gonna go for it. He's gonna he's gonna he floated one mana from the that the wasteland that's in the graveyard. Mm-hmm. He's probably gonna crop rotate a second wasteland, right? To try and get to try and get a Tespian stage. stage. Right. Yeah, right. and if that resolves, he can make a twenty twenty. If it doesn't resolve, he can untap and play uh and play a hex mage from him. Right. Oh, and it's like a second rotation. Oh, oh no, oh, he's not. No. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Uh, I feel like he, I feel like he. Because he still loses here. He's got... Even yeah, he's he got looks like yeah, he's three. about to die. He's, he's going to die to a Goyf anyway. It doesn't matter if you have a 20-20. You can't block both Goyfs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. And you, you can't use the Hex Mage to block because the Ren can just ping it. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Uh, I feel like he should have gone for the... Maybe he forgot. The end step activate again. Maybe he forgot about that. Yeah, I mean... I know. Sometimes sometimes you know the, you have the plan but you forget to do the plan. Right? Yeah, yeah, comes. yeah. Maybe he has a maze in his deck. I don't know. What is this? He's gonna roto now. Oh, he's gonna rotate main face. He's gonna fl- float the colors. Okay, that's fair. Okay, but if you were gonna go for this line, wouldn't you have gone last turn? Yeah, on the main end step, right? Yeah, what is this? He's, he's he had it in his hand. He had it in his hand. Maybe he's gonna get Urbok. Urbok. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he is gonna get okay, he's gonna get Urbok. Okay. So what does this? Uh, that's why they pay me the big bucks. Oh, uh, <laughs> they do pay me the big yeah. bucks. Yeah. <laughs> so he has two ways to make a twenty twenty, but he's still dead to uh, just. Two guys, right? Yeah, it's it's one twenty twenty, but he doesn't block both guys. So yeah, so he's gonna. Uh, uh? He okay. tapped the stage. Spell snare. Okay. He tapped the stage. Why did he tap the stage? Huh. If he wanted to do exactly what I thought he was gonna do, it would you would have to float. You would have to make the twenty twenty and then tap the, the dark depths for mana. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, that's a an, a great a great example of how. Canadian threshold plays, right? It plays I a bunch of threats, some kind of pressure, and then it, it just, you know, answers your most your key spells. And very stuff like reminiscent that. of the old uh Delver decks. Yeah, you know? it is a, essentially a Delver deck. It is, right? it is. 
it's origin well like the the name, the more basic name is called like Tima Delva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basic, you mean. <laughs> yeah, basic. <name>. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. More, the not basic, like recognizable name. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So out of the board for Yuan, you can see that he's looking at some removal options like oh, oh. like uh, Assassin's Trophy, Assassin's Trophy Fatal Push. And then that, that is the kind of the trip tr- typical or the traditional way of answering the the kind of um, Canadian threshold Tima Delva kind of deck is to make sure they don't have a threat so that right. you have a lot of you have time right yes um, but that's not necessarily the the way you can win I think these days against that deck because it has so many sources of card advantage it has Ren and Six it has Oko right so you have two sources of very strong kind of inevitability right yeah of course but oh and see. Oko is like I mean, it's such an insane card like, in this deck, right? Because it not only provides you with a hard to deal with threat, right? You can't plow, you know, you can't bolt it to death, or you can, but you know, it takes a lot of effort to bolt it to death. Yeah, it's pretty tanky. Yeah, yeah it's, tanky. it's really, really tanky. It gives you like little incremental utility, like it f- life against a uh, uh, burn deck. It turns very right. large to a tree tree L. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It turns yeah, very large to <laughs> it turns your opponent's stuff into yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you can't actually play very large preemptively against yep. Oko. Yep, 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 yep. And so in that, just I think that car alone is is tipping is is you know shifted this the balance of this matchup right. In, pre- in the past, you think oh this is actually a pretty good matchup for the the slow depths deck. Right. But I don't think they can go to go too slow anymore. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Uh, I agree. I agree. Definitely, yeah, yeah. Definitely. If if the if the Canadian threshold player is is careful, um, like that, like the way Young Chai is, you know, and I've, we've watched him play this before, play this deck before. He's he's deliberate, but you know, doesn't make too many missteps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like. You and could have definitely played that the last two turns of that game better, better, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think w- he could have gone for it at the end of. I would have liked the one where you know the one that you said. Yeah, the end of the double crowd. Yeah, double roto. Yeah, yeah. Why did he go for? D- he went yeah. for it. he went for it mid phase, but he didn't go for it double. Yeah, double ends. roto. Okay, so he had uh he had two wastelands and two bayous, right? So he rotos and floats one. He changes one wasteland into a dark depths. Yeah. Uh, I think he, I think then he had one colorless. So he's one colorless floating. Then he rotos and floats another colorless. Then he has two colors floating. Yeah, then he puts a test message to play and then he goes for it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if it, if, it, if it gets countered, at least the counter is on the roto for test message. He can untap and play uh, play a, a, a vampire hex mage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right? I mean, obviously, we knew about the spells, name, but but Yuan didn't. So there was no way for him to say, okay, I can. This is the this is the thing I'm playing around. He didn't end up playing around it anyway. Right, right, right. Right. And the next turn when he has, he assembled that that um you know the Urbok dark depths thing, uh. I just felt like okay, if you if that was your play, then you should have you should have roto you should have sorry act, cast a hex mage without tapping your testament stage, mm-hmm. right? And I mean the end of turn play the upside is that you just kill your opponent out of nowhere, right? You just hit him for twenty. Yeah, your, your opponent was yeah. just. Uh, you go from winning. You force him to have it. Yeah, you go from like losing the game to winning the game right outright. Yeah. Right. So there's a the payoff for that is so much higher than say oh you got a good trade or you draw an extra card couple of cards right, yeah. winning the game. <laughs> that's, that, that's the draw of, of these uh, so-called unfair decks yeah, right? yeah, you can yeah, be all sure. the way behind but you just do that one thing snap you yeah, just won the game yeah, yeah, yeah. But for legacy sure, players with one, one, one thing and it's disgusting <laughs> 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 okay so this is the okay, keeping okay. both hands this is thought sees ah, Jong Chai has brought in his own surgicals to deal with his opponent's uh, dark depth so he's hoping to do a ooh surgical yeah, yeah but this looks like this? a one land hand Ren okay oh, yes, 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 brainstorm yeah but this brainstorm is going to get picked by that yeah, by that, uh, <laughs> that thought sees, yeah. Very likely. So it's Delver, Ren, Brainstorm, Days. A card I can't tell because it looks like Stifle. Play. It's Stifle, it's Stifle. Oh, Stifle. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, uh, Surgical. Surgical. Yeah, what, what are your thoughts on siding out Stifle on the draw? Siding out Stifle on the draw. Especially against a deck with black discard. With discard. I think it makes sense to, d- to, to take out Stifle on the draw if you have stuff to put in. Otherwise, you can just keep it in. Right, I think this right, right. Uh, he keeping this Stifle in means that he does not have that many cards in the sideboard against this matchup. Mm. That's a good observation. Mm. And here you go, Double of Secrets. Okay, okay. Yeah, because he took the days. And then, so Yong Chai is not a coward. You know, he's like, I don't care if I got one land in my hand. I'm just going to play my Delver, man. Mm. Like, you you like can figure this stuff out you're on your own. I like it. Make, make, don't do the math. Make your opponent do the math. Yeah. Right. Oh, he just slams down the yeah, hex yeah, mage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, okay, yeah. So, d- if you're young, do you brainstorm and you upkeep? No, because mm. you wanna you wanna have as many shots as a la- at land. No, he doesn't. He goes for it. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't like it. He mm. mean he's it's a guaranteed flip for him, right? Because he's gonna be able to put. Oh, it's, it's interesting. Yeah, 
Okay, so so Wasteland is good because Wasteland yeah. means that he, his yeah. opponent can't. But yeah. no, we know because we know um, Yuan's hand and he has a second hex mage in his hand. We know that Wasteland is not good enough, right? Right. Because that that Wasteland means that he is going to be able to. Uh, well, the second hex mage means he's, he's going to be able to activate two in re- one in response to the Wasteland. Right. 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 Yeah, he has a Brisbane Borrow in his hand, which is really cool. Because Brisbane Borrow is a, is a handy answer to the 2020 as well. Yeah, Brisbane Borrow, a card that I did not expect to see in Legacy at yeah, all. Yeah, and Yong Chai very smartly hiding it, the second card down, yeah, right? Because he, like he's, 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 like he's going to show a card to his opponent. He's going to show Stifle, which his opponent already knows about. And his opponent's presumably going to play around. But he's going to get blown out by that by that uh, Brisbane Borrow. Mm. He's going to leave this, this, fa- this wasteland up. A two mana instant speed blowout just for that very large. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Very, very interesting. I, th- I, I like, I like um the way Yong Chai has built his deck. I yes, think yes. it's, it's really, really a, g- a good choice against, um yeah. O- and he Ooh. draws his peeling needle, but the peeling needle is. Oh, he draws the reclaimer. Yeah, yeah, but he doesn't have a green source. Yeah, so he has been. Yeah, just you know, naming I assume Renan Six. Uh, he could name Wasteland. Oh right, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that. it's possible that he names Wasteland, but we know that Yong Chai is not incentivized to, is not incentivized to um use the use wasteland. wasteland because of the Brazen Borrow on his Right, head. right. So I think he's just going to let just that gonna true. let it come true. Yeah. Okay, okay. And now he's uh, now Yong Chai is like pr- pretty confident that he has this locked up, right? Because he has his opponent's not going to be able to play something that doesn't run into the days that he has in his hand. Right. He's going to draw the Borrower here. Borrower is pretty good. He's gonna be able to play a second cantrip. Oh, oh this is a uh, bolt. He's, he's gonna bolt. bolt. This okay. is aggressive. Very aggressive bolt. Okay. Yeah, but he's he's covered. He's not covered. If his opponent goes dark depths. Does he has days. He has a days, but if dark depths makes black mana. Oh right, right. Well, because of the because of the um okay. the bolt. So duress, duress is gonna oh the gate the jig oh, is up. But oh no. most importantly, the duress can't take brazen borrower because it's, right, it's right. a creature in his opponent's hand. Yeah, and you uh. One thing that you have to note about the adventure, adventure cards, cards. They, their main type is still... A creature, yeah, a creature. yeah. So yeah, there's yeah. a guy with the possibility storm deck. Oh yeah, I remember that yeah. deck. That's so cool. <laughs> what do you think about that deck? That's pretty cool. Yeah, like, I that's like so it. cool. Yeah, yeah. He's going to extract... Surgical, the... Extract the... Oh, oh very, very smart. Oh. Very, very good. Because he... Got oh, wow. Got him. Got him. <laughs> wow, with the soul read. Like, what are the chances? Don't size a master, man. Yeah. Well, it's smart because... Because I mean, it wasn't it wasn't as good last turn, but it's much better this turn. Right. Uh, well, it was, sorry, it wasn't good based on what on the info that we had last turn, but it's much better this turn because his his opponent the only way his opponent wins out from here is to play a dark depths and play a, right, a hex mage, right. right? But so responding to this duress with a with a surgical was key. Yeah, was Yung huge. Young Tsai very playing playing his information very well. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Uh, okay. Yeah, so what you take here, man? Uh, so yeah, I think Slime first Yuan has to pick his hand up. Okay. <laughs> oh, right, right. Yeah, but I think I think you, I don't Slime I don't I don't think you uh, can. I think you need to oh. play the long game. Right. You can't you can't like steal the game <laughs> anymore. We got a we got a reader. <laughs> um. So I think you need to consider taking the Ren and six to okay. prevent yourself from getting wasteland locked out of the game. Okay. Or you might consider taking the Stifle so that your if you draw a fetch. To play your green spells that you don't get locked. Takes the ren. Takes the ren. Okay, okay. Because he's got faith that he's gonna he's gonna draw uh, draw out of this. But I don't like his chances of drawing out of this. This is, this, is this is not this is not a slow clock. This is this right. Is not, uh, this is this is four turns. Three three uh three two is uh very yeah. big. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. For a and one mana card. and should Yong Chai choose to do it, he can uh brazen borrower. Oh yeah, brazen borrower too. Bo- oh see yeah, he drew a flash line. See yeah. if he had taken oh that stifle, no. this he'd be in the clear. But no, this this the stifle oh is just. No. <laughs> Yeah, so it's just okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, man. I'm just gonna hit you until you say stop. Okay, at, at least it's a swamp for now, but he can't get a green. Yeah, and then he draws another. Uh, he draws another Urbok. This is this is terrible. This oh I, no. this is. I mean, this is exactly how Young Tai drew it up, like, right? But I, I, you gotta feel bad for the guy. Yeah, now he has oh. now he has a uh, Mandrills, so he can play a Mandrills with the with the um. Does he even need to play the Mandrills? That's the question, right? Like, if he just passes the turn, I don't think he can lose. Right. Right? He has access to double double day Stifle, uh, Brazen Borrower, and, and uh, you know, both halves of Brazen Borrower. Bor- but no, he's going for it. Hooters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the Hooters. The Hooters. <laughs> the Hoodie oh McJudy. No, yeah, okay. Like so, yeah, that duress on that Stifle. That is very yeah, 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 yeah. play from Yongtai. I, I really I hate, like that. I hate to see it, but, you know, I was right again. <laughs> Are you... 
you're you're not very it's very rare that you're not right. You know? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, if you all need uh, lottery numbers for today, you can also uh, contact me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Slide, it, slide into my DMs. <laughs> then okay. now uh, going to... Uh, going to do territories. Alternative, alternative career. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, I think this was a really interesting matchup and I, I like to see and I really like the way Yong Chai's book's deck. I think it's a really good deck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't trash short, uh, definitely the deck to beat since yeah, Ren and yeah, Six yeah. came out. And no, not just Ren and Six also, but you know, Brazen Borrow and Oko have both added to it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they don't play any more true names. Oh, right? yeah, oh they don't? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 I just checked the, the list just now. They don't. They don't play true it's names. It's four, four Delvers, uh, Hey, is our chat so like much? not updating or is like sixty? There's just sixty-eight people just chilling. I don't know. Okay, let me just refresh it. I'm I was actually quite curious of this. As yeah, well. like people haven't been talking for a while. Okay, oh, I, I just well, you just erased everything. Uh, it's okay. It was, it was <laughs> it's okay. I'll look at the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll be back pretty soon. Yeah, we'll be um, back with round four in about yeah, yeah. Uh, 30 minutes time. In 30 minutes, we'll, uh, meanwhile, we'll put on a replay. Yes. Uh, we are Grey Ogre Games. We're based out of Singapore. This is our monthly legacy tournament. You can follow us on this channel if you want to get updates as to when we are streaming, when we're live. We typically have about 30-ish, 40 players for, for legacy every month. Yeah, and then we do. Um, we d we also have the VODs uh, on YouTube, and yes. you can like us and and you know send us messages on Facebook if you like to buy cards. Just comment on the commentate commentators. Yes. And uh, or ask me for lottery numbers. Ask <laughs> you for lottery numbers. <laughs> they should they should ask you for card leaks. Maybe you uh, don't know. Uh, oh. <laughs> 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 Goodbye, man. Anyway, guys. Yes, that is it. Uh, you can. You can do all of that. PM our page for all the stuff. And for myself and Ben, we will be signing out.